Oh, here we go. Matt, this absolute cooked unit got himself fried over the weekend in Melbourne. He doesn't remember shit. Give him the hangover movie treatment and let him know what retarded shit he did. Drop him in the name Cherry Bar. Drop in the name Cherry Bar. Ah, oh, right. Okay, I see what you're saying. All right, this is good. I'm going to pretend to be from... I'm going to pretend Security? to be... Security? Oh, I'm going to be a constable uh, Peter Wallen. You attacked a woman. Peter Wallen uh, mm. from the Melbourne City uh, Police Precinct. Yep. And uh, we have CCT footage of Matt. Hello. Hello, I'm, uh, this is Peter Wallen from the Melbourne City Police Precinct. Is this, um, am I speaking with Matthew? Uh, yeah, this is Matthew. Right, do, do you have a, uh, a, a spare second to chat, please? Uh, what's this regarding? So, we've just been handed in some CCTV footage from the uh, Cherry Bar there in Melbourne. And um, they, they've just got some concerns and um, w- would like to either get... Uh, an admission or, um, you know, press charges or, or, or something uh, just regarding some behaviour that you were involved in over the weekend. You know social distancing laws are on, right? Okay, so they, they don't give an exact date. Sorry, that's my bad. They just uh, submitted the footage on the 18th. Um, but it, it obviously must have been before they uh, all the bars and stuff closed. And they've just handed in some CCTV footage, and um, you've been identified, uh, Matthew, uh, okay. as um, scanning. from scanning. from scanning your ID. Um, and yeah, they, they just they would like to press charges based on some of the behaviour. Uh, what um, charges? Uh, so there's uh, you, uh, public urination. You um, are recorded urinating on the front of the bar. And also recorded urinating in one of the um, sections of the bar, the, the smokers area there. So uh, that's the first charge. And the second charge was um, also destruction of property where you were seen uh, smashing some uh, glass, schooner glasses and um, also breaking a, uh, a chair, one of their chairs. No, that's, yeah, that's not right at it's all. Bad. Yeah, I haven't been to Cherry Bar in a long time, mate. So. Right. Well, uh, would you be? We've got it we, the we, ID look, we, we've got we've got you on Record. file through the um, the ID scanning, and uh, we we just sort of because you know we're in the same boat. So a, a lot of the police force are at home at the moment. It sort of takes us a lot longer to process uh, charges and stuff like that. So um, would you be willing to come down to the station and just put in a statement because? Um, the, the Cherry Bar management, they're, they're pretty keen to um, press some charges. Yeah, I don't think I really want to do that. At the right, well, well, look, mate, mate I'm, just, I'm telling you, you it's either come down interest. to the station or, or we come and pick you up and um, and you can make a statement. So it's uh, one or the other. It's not really, I'm not really asking. And yeah, we can come and pick you up in, in, a, in a squad car and, and bring you down to the station or you can just make a uh, an admission over the phone. Ooh. Up to you. Yeah, um, you have to bring me in. All right, no worries. Well, um, are you, are you, are you around uh, tomorrow midday? Um, yeah, I should be midday. Yeah, should be. Okay, great. Well, I'll um, I'll confirm with you, and and someone, uh, an officer will call you before we send the squad car out, just to make sure you're home tomorrow. So and uh, we'll bring you into colleague? the uh, you the station, and just we'll show you the footage, and we'll get either an admission or um, yeah, or, or clear your name. But yeah, the the footage I've seen the footage, and it looks pretty uh, damning there, Matthew. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. No worries. All right, mate. We'll um we'll we'll call you tomorrow, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll um. We'll go from there, right? Yeah, alrighty. No worries, mate. Speak soon. Thanks. See you, mate. <laughs> Dude, he's going to be feeling like shit. Let's call him back. All right, we'll call him back. <clears throat> That's so, like, he'd be I like, didn't know where to go from there because he yeah, sort of called my bluff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I didn't know where to. But, like, how do you know all that information? Yeah, I know. Yeah. So, he would be shitting right now. He's in, like, purgatory. Yeah, he'd be shitting himself. All right, I'm going to pretend to be... Jack. Jack Black. All right, this is Jack. It says you're on the prank show. This is Jack. Uh, Jack. Jack Black. Jack Black. Uh, yeah. Matt, I was the one who dubbed you in. Why did you rape her? I was the one. 
Oh, did, did, did you really rape her? Did you really rape her? I fucking I did you in the cops because you <laughs> you put your fingers in my drink, cunt. Wait, Jack, who's this Jack? Mate, we met about six weeks ago at the Cherry Bar. Yeah, you, right. And you popped a pinky in my drink. No, I don't think so. Ha ha! We got ya! Ha ha! You are your prank! Yeah, you've been prank called! Ha ha! Oh, that's it. I was looking forward to going down and seeing some CCTV footage, actually. Yeah, I would have liked to see that too. But um, no, it's just a prank call that your mate sent in. And you're on the Marty and Michael fully actual podcast. Oh, fuck you, can't say. <laughs> <laughs> fucking sick. You didn't, you didn't fucking fall for it. God damn it. Did, did you know something was up? Nah, because, you know, to be honest... I was like, that does sound like something that I could possibly have done. Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what your mate said, that you had no idea. <laughs> so, um, that's yeah, it. no, that's fucking sick. <laughs> well, damn, God, I wish you were freaked out a bit more then. You've ruined the prank call. Yeah, you, it's the shittest <laughs> prank call ever so far this season. Oh, no. That's all right. All right, well, thanks for... um. Yeah, we just wanted to call you back and let you know there's not a police car calling you tomorrow. Oh, uh, damn. I was looking forward to that, mate. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, everyone. All right. All right look, we'll, look, we'll call the police. We'll call the police in Melbourne. We'll get them to pick you up, all right? <laughs> uh, all right, mate. <laughs> all right. Well, fucking che- cheers for being a legend, mate. You fucking cool, cool cucumber you. Oh, cheers, man. Thanks for putting out some fucking funny shit, too, uh, making us laugh. Mate, that is our pleasure. And next time we prank call you, just pretend like you know what's... You just pretend like you're fucking freaking out, okay? It's far more entertaining. <laughs> yeah, no worries. All right, my homie Jesus, I'll chat to you tomorrow morning. All right, catch you, mate. Bye-bye. Sex.